The MAF is located in the bottom section of the airbox. You will need to remove the airbox lid to access the MAF. Use a T25 torque and remove the eight screws, red arrows, holding the lid on. The ones by the rear bumper cover are tight, so take care not to drop them. If you have an S, you will need to disconnect the changeover valve from the right side lid by pressing down on the tab, red arrow, and sliding it out. You can now lift the airbox lid out from the engine compartment. For some reason, the clip that holds the electrical connector is on the back side of the connector, red arrow. Take your time and squeeze in on the tab to release it and slide the connector off. Use a T25 torque and remove the two screws, red arrows, holding the MAF to the airbox. Check your type of fastener here as these have changed over the years. You can now slide the MAF out from its mounts. The MAF should only fit back in one way and that is with the sensor facing the incoming air, red arrow. The small wire in the opening of the MAF can become amber in color over time and get what looks like a coating on it. You can try and spray this part of the sensor with MAF cleaner and letting it dry, then reinstalling. Never touch the sensor with your bare skin. The oils from your skin will ruin it. I have heard of people using a Q-tip to clean the sensor, but it is very delicate and you might break it. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.